Tara and I are putting the dust ruffle on the girl's bed right now and I'm using a drop cloth curtain. Um, you can't see but I have drop cloths for the curtains and then um, I'm using the drop cloth for the dust ruffle. And for each bed I bought three six by nine drop cloths. And as you can see, and I'll show a close up here in a little bit, Tara's on the phone right now with Michael, but um, we took one dust or one drop cloth and we cut it in half as you can see and then um, we actually had to flip the mattress this box spring opposite so the wood showed so we could have something to staple into and then we we already tested out the mattress you can't tell that it's on this wood part but we measured it even Tara got on one end I got on the other in fact she's over over here and we've already got I'll show you, we got one, this right here hasn't been stapled down. We just folded this end over on both sides to make it even so when we staple the middle we can do the gaps. Because I kind of wanted odd box plates as you can see right here. So we stapled in the middle, then we stapled on the edges and then we just gathered the, through the middle parts on the edges. Middle, stapled the edges, <laughs> then gathered the middle. So that's what we're doing with an even, an even. Yeah. See, we have this one on, and now we're going to staple the middle, staple the edges, and then gather the box plates. And I don't know if you can see, I'll scoot back. We have the dust ruffle barely touching the floor. Because I didn't want the girls, Tara had a good point. She didn't like the girls stepping on it, so. I made sure once I got the one side all done and the box plates made up, this side's a little bit messed up because it was our first one, but I went ahead and just stapled all the way down the mattress because Tara had a good point. She was like, the when they go to get in bed, their little feet stepping on the drop cloth uh, dust ruffle, you know, it would pull through and I didn't want every time we made beds or changed sheets that the dust ruffle would want to fall out. So stapling it was just perfect. And Tara is just securing the very end. She's getting the box pleat ready. And then um, I would go back behind her and use the staple gun. And once we got the end secure, I think we spaced out between five and six inches, give or take, for a box pleat. And I think we had about three of them in between the side and the middle staple. So it wasn't hard once we got to the second side because we had ironed out all the wrinkles. Tara is really nice to help and it's really nice to have a sister. And we kind of, it's, we're kind of funny. Like Tara helps Carrie. Me and Carrie both help Tara in decorating, and then Tara helps me in decorating. Like it, I don't know why. It's like that's how we operate, but isn't that funny? So grab your sister if you have one, and it'll make your jobs a lot easier. Grab a friend, and then you have time to visit. So it just made it go by way quicker. So we're just working on the other end. I stapled it. And now we made our box pleats and then Tara's going back over and making sure it's stapled securely. And if I ever want to wash them, all I have to do is just kind of pull up. They pull up, not easy, but you could pull them up and wash and put back if you needed to. But I don't think I'm going to have to wash them too, too often. Okay. So we're just cutting, sorry, to, I'm confused. Now we're just going to cut it, instead of cutting it long ways, we're going to cut it in half and then use each half for the end of the bed right here. So that's what we're doing. So or we're just going to refold it. We basically are just using this for the ends of the bed on the dust ruffle, for the dust ruffle. And the mattress in the background looks gross, but 
it's from a friend, so I know it's clean. And I got both girls, both sets of mattresses for $60 for both. So super cheap. Okay. Tara took over cutting for me, and then it was so thick, and we had such dull scissors that she was like, my hand is on fire. You have got to take over. So I took over and finished, and then um, I put one half up for the other bed, and then this one we just used for the footboard for the dust ruffle part. And once we got the dust ruffle through the mattress and the footboard, it was easy. Tara took over making the box pleats, and then I just made sure that it was, um, the length was to my liking, and just kind of tugging and pulling and just chit-chatting away. Um, I work well with my sisters, so that makes it easier. And this was pretty fast because we had got the other two sides down packed once we got to this end. So the staple gun ran out. So Tara added some more staples really quick. And then she just proceeded to give a nice, I don't know, probably every half inch of staples on top of the dust ruffle to make sure that it holds. Super cheap, you guys. Super easy. And I love the linen. I love the raw look it has. And it pulls in nicely with the curtains as well, which is what I wanted. Okay, so the sheets are from Target and they're like a flannel. What do you call these a flannel? These are like a flannel cream. And then Target for 13, like 13.99, 14, 15 bucks for the mattress cover. I felt like the, since they were used, I don't know. From a nasty family. <laughs> yeah, Tara said from a nasty family. No, from a clean family, but I don't know. I just kind of wanted it to be clean, so. We just washed the sheets. So mind you, I got the beds, both beds for $100, mattresses for 60 for both, and Tara has a phobia with the tag, but those I'll just leave. They're all that big one. And then the bed spreads, which I'll show you in a minute, are vintage. I got both of them for 50 it, And the funny thing is, is I prayed for these, um, I prayed for these uh, bed spreads. I pray, I knew I wanted a certain kind and I couldn't find them on eBay or anything. And so I just casually prayed about it and didn't even tell my friend about the kind I wanted and she was antique store, uh, antique shopping and called me and she's like, these would be so cute in the girl's room. I was like, it's exactly what I prayed for. So Where's the don't be afraid to pray for small things. Where's the bottom sheet that's in the dryer. Bedspread I got and it has the pretty little pom-poms on it and the texture is so. $25 each. So now I gotta just figure out. The pom-poms, they're round. This is rounded. It's what? It's rounded, so should I open the window? Is that hot in here? No. It's a round bedspread? It's rounded at the bottom. Oh. The table cloth. Is it a tablecloth or a bedspread? <laughs> Wouldn't you say this goes up here? Yeah. And the bottom goes here. I had originally bought white comforters from Target for about 120 each. And then um, my friend found these vintage ones and it's exactly what I prayed for. So I'm just reminded that God cares about small things just like we take things that are big to him in our eyes. So there's nothing big or small to God. And 
it looks stunning on the beds. I mean, it just looks vintage. It looks old. And I'm trying to give a old era feeling and I guess ambience to the room when you walk in. And this was so hard. Pushing this comforter down or bedspread down because it already had the dust ruffle. So it took a little bit to maneuver that down. Um, Tara got her side down in first and then I just kind of reached up underneath and pulled it down. But yeah, this was like really, really hard. But I love how the bed is old with the comforter and it just, it's perfect, you guys. Well, I'm gonna have it pulled. Okay, I just gotta figure out this part. Oh, Tara, perfect, look, it just hangs. Oh my word, it is so pretty. See, you can pull it back just like that and it looks actually prettier. Okay, hold on. Your edge should just totally, see how I have mine just like this? Yeah, but I want, we can do that, but further down because I'm going to have pillows. Oh, yeah. So let's go ahead and pull it down. Okay, now, like that. Perfect. You need to get like a till blanket and that's it can show up I right have here. the throw at the end. Oh. Straighten out your corner right there, Tara. I pulled this down right here and it literally just like went. I got these pillows at Target, and um, I believe these are Magnolia. I think they're so cute. Yeah. So this is Magnolia too, and it has kind of a linen-y look. It's really simple. And then I got, this is from, was this Target? One? I know, but it was Magnolia, oh, yeah. wasn't it? This was, was from Magnolia too. The tag's still on. Yep, so I got the tag on them. Oh. Yep, and it was $19.99, so super cute. Tara's gonna cut the tags off. Titus and I lived with my mom while he went through flight school and then boot camp, and so Vivian was literally a baby, three months old. And Tara started cutting her tags off, and to this day Vivian has to have all her tags cut off and her crust cut off on her sandwiches. When I had the bed set up earlier before I had to paint them the third time, Violet had these light stuck behind the bed, which is so my sister Carrie. Violet is Carrie, isn't she? Very much so. So Violet had these lights behind her bed plugged in and it looks so cute. I know it's not really vintage, but it's like really cottagey, so I'm gonna do that actually. You could have did the electric light. Huh? What the fairy lights, these right here might be better. No, well I was gonna put those in like a vase or something. Violet had these lights up the first go around when I had the beds up. So when I painted the beds again and set the beds up or set this bed up, I knew I wanted the lights back up. So we got these at the Goodwill and they just set a really beautiful, simple tone to the room, especially with the lights off and the little lights behind the bed. So I knew I wanted these back up when I set the beds up again. So that's what we're doing is just, I don't even know what we're talking about you guys. Who knows? Who knows? <laughs> so this is just a big linen pillow from Target and it's, this is what I'm doing in my bedroom. I love that. So in the center. Oh yeah, so it don't matter if you have these lights like this. Yeah. I'll just pull them out, I guess. It doesn't matter. Right? Okay, so, I don't know, like so. Mm-hmm and have those coming out, and then <coughs> this will go like this. Should we cut that off? And then, oh, hold on. This is that brand I was trying to tell you, the big pillow. It's Casa Luna, and they have this color, a rust, and a cream. And I paid, I think, $79 for the full for the full queen, so. And this I'm just gonna throw on the edge of the bed because I wanted minimal color on the bed. 
but I wanted a splash of color and then also it pulls in the walls really nicely. This blanket only comes in a full queen at Target, so um, that's what I bought. And it was so long, it drugged both ends on the floor. So Tara was like, let's just double it up again, and then it will barely hang off, and it will, and it will look thicker. So, yeah, this turned out perfect. I wanted one of those, I can't remember what they're called, but they're a very thick blanket. I'm going to get one for my bedroom, but they're like $200. It's like, I am not paying $200 to put on the edge of the girl's bed. So the $79 ones from Target were perfect and the color was spot on. So yay for Target. I love Target. This makes me really excited to decorate the girl's room. And we got one bed done today. It took a little bit longer than I thought but it just is simple, it's linen-y, it's raw, it matches the curtains, and it's really simple. So I'm gonna do my best to decorate very simple, like a actual old-fashioned room would have been decorated. I have a tendency to decorate heavy-handed, so it's gonna be hard for me, but I, I love the flowers peeking out from underneath the blanket. The little throw on the end. Look how cute it is, you guys. When I first thought of doing the room, I knew I wanted all white or cream with just a splash of color on the end. And I went into Target one day and I was I seen this blanket and I was like, oh my word, it's perfect for the girls' room. So I snagged one and then got one a couple weeks later when they got them back in stock. So Next is decorating the room and I can't wait. <laughs> 